Torah wasn't given only to the elite. Torah is my Russia, Kihilas Yaakov. It's for everybody. Most of our bracha, when they leave here in 12th grade, they're on fire. They're inspired. It's a yeshiva that helps you, that helps you for, every, for any situation in life. It's meant to prepare you for what you're gonna, what's going to happen. Certain respect they show to each bracha individually that you won't get anywhere else. Well, things in life that you think you can't do, you eventually realize you could, even though it's hard. Electives is the vehicle to show them that they can achieve greatness from the areas that they're good at. So we highlight that. It's lessons for life um, build you for life. Um, it gives you, puts you on your feet. Lesson number one, you can do anything and we're going to prove it to you. A student will come to yeshiva the first day and not have a desk to sit at. And he sits at a table and the next three Sundays he'll have to build his desk from scratch. And it's foolproof. He'll get the wood, he'll get the stain, the shellac, whatever he needs. And it's pre-drilled and he'll put his desk together. And those who have two left hands will have older Bachem work with them to make sure that they end up with a beautiful desk. And we look at that desk and say, okay, what did we learn from here? Things that you thought you can't do, you can. Our Kodesh is built by the boys, and the Bima, and the Svarm Shrank, and everything in the yeshiva is built by the boys, and the plaque says their name on it. That's the one who gets the, the covered. Success breeds success, that's the bottom line. So if you're good in one area, it will cascade to every area of life. And that's what they need to inculcate every time they do these electives or, or you know programs in yeshiva raffle campaigns and they're saying you can do it you can do it you can do it and in Mela, when you have so many you can do it so your learning change your davening changes your ben amal chaveri changes your midos change because you can do it Any boy which puts in his effort to succeed has seen remarkable success. We give them the tools and the skills that they need and with a positive attitude, it's amazing how far they could get. I had Bachum which used to struggle when they came in, but they were determined, they're not gonna give up. They tried and they tried and they tried. And it's amazing where they are today. They're learning in the best yeshivas in the world now. When a boy comes in and we tell him, you have to learn the Beis Medish, first say the Hachana Seder for two hours. That's a tremendous, it's too much. So we start slowly, a half an hour at a time. We expect them to learn a half an hour, 30 minutes. We pick one day a week, Thursday in the Marshall. Learn for 30 minutes without, without Batala. Sit down, don't get up. Sit and learn with your Havusa, with Hasmada, with non-stop. And as they get older, in 10th grade, they do 45 minutes, 11th grade, an hour until they're ready in 12th grade to learn for an hour and a half, two hours, Bahasmada Rabba. It's amazing. A Bacham alumni tell me, Rebbe, these Siddharim gave me the capability to sit through a long first say, then a second say, then a long day of Hasmada, because I trained myself to become a Masmid. I wasn't able to learn that well, but here they explain it more than other yeshivas, and it's, I can understand that finally. And our English program is just giving the basics of what they need to go out into the world and to communicate and to, to live in a society where we are the quote-unquote light unto the nations. And therefore our English program is focused on giving the basics what they need to be successful human beings.
And the way we'll do that is through the Regents uh, curriculum program. So make the boys understand themselves to really see why do they do this? Become a thinking person, not just go with the flow, do what everyone else is doing. If you do what everyone else is doing, you'll be a nobody. You do something different, you take initiative, and you think into your actions to become a somebody. to the Kol Mishpacha Olat Kopan Yiri to say a few words to cover the Simcha. So they went and they saw that if you... That... Hosting is very hard, but you just get over the fear and you do it. And that's something great for life because we have so many times in your life that you have to speak by your children's wedding, Simcha or anything. In order for a boy to feel comfortable in the environment and ready to put in his best without being ridiculed, you have to create a safe environment. If the environment is secure and safe, that they're not afraid of asking a question, even if it'll be silly. No one's going to make fun of you. And it's really true. The boys build each other tremendous encouragement. And with that, we create an environment which is safe and secure, that you don't have to be afraid of failure. Give me your sleeping kids. I have a lot of good alarm clocks. Ninth grade, I wanted to play saxophone, so I learned how, and then I was able to join the, the marching band. And then I did that all through ninth grade, and then in tenth grade, they uh, started the acrobats. And right away, I decided to join, and it's a lot of fun. It's a nice, kosher, healthy outlet. I was an acrobat. You do a flip and it's very hard. You can't really do it. And they no, do it. You'll do, don't worry. You'll eventually get it. And then after when you're done, you feel that confidence that eventually travels travels over to learning, and you feel great about yourself. And then you go and you you steig in learning and in every area in life. When the acrobat started in tenth grade, so everybody thought it wasn't going to happen. Like our phone saying, crazy idea, acrobats performing at weddings, like never, never going to happen. It actually started happening. We started getting flips and our first performance. We were like, whoa, we actually performed by a wedding? Wow. So th and then as we kept progressing, we realized it helped us when, let's say I had a hard day or yeshiva or whatever. So I came to acrobats and it helped me, it lifted my spirits. I got to do a good flip and then the next day I came rejuvenated to be able to learn very well. Shari Razum is a mainstream yeshiva. It's run with the regular seder hayoyim like every yeshiva. At the same time, we understand when a bachar needs a little extra time to build his self-esteem and give him the chizik to continue to produce even more than he would have otherwise. Shari Razum prepares a boy for life. It's not a yeshiva only for learning. It's a yeshiva for life. The skills that they need to be a father, a loving father, a caring husband, a member of society is taught to them in yeshiva. Shairazim is a, mo a very motivating place. They teach you to, to keep on trying. They teach you how to commit to things. And 
they, <laughs> that there's nothing that you can't do.